Reach for the speed, reach for the whistle, go where the rail may run. Reach for the words, reach for the story, follow the rainbow sun. To a shining time station, where dreams can come true, waiting there. Friendship is important when it comes to helping others. However, there are fake friends who seem friendly at first, but really are willing to take advantage of others and even deceive them. While some have managed to outsmart fake friends, others don't realize it until it's too late. One night, Sean and May were leading a manifest into Springfield Industrial, a rarely used rail yard somewhere in upstate New York that is rumored to have some negative events take place. Oh dear God, this place sure reminds me of that bad dream I had. Isn't it true? I heard this yard might become bankrupt. It and the nearby industries haven't been faring well in business. But seriously, this place really creeps me out and I feel like we shouldn't stay here too long. It does too, but I'm feeling half asleep anyways. Plus, we're nearly out of fuel. Yeah, you're right. We should get some rest and fill it up for our next trip. As May and Sean pull into the servicing track, they happen to come across an old acquaintance who used to be at Waycross. Waycross, Caleb? What are you doing here? Why, hello, Sean and May. It's so splendid to see you two back, my friends. And also, you can refer to me as Springfield, Caleb, as I'm no longer based at Waycross. However, I'm afraid that things won't be going as they seem. What do you mean? And why were you at Waycross for a while last year? You know that road powers aren't supposed to be at certain yards for a period of time. Well, back in the glory days of the 20th century, I took all the pride of my work. But now, look at how poor CSX's economy has become. Makes me wish I should no longer serve as an economical tool for this railroad. Which is why I'm glad I'm here at Springfield Industrial. And as for me being stuck at Waycross last year, well, let's say that manager was too strict. What's wrong, Springfield Caleb? You know we're supposed to contribute to our nation's economy, even if this railroad isn't doing the best. And I don't think the manager would keep certain locomotives around for a long time, even if he seems strict, unless he's a psychopath. I'm sorry, pal, but I have to spill everything that's wrong with CSX. And I'm being serious about that manager. Anyhow, take Holmes for example. His high horsepower rating is just giving him reliability issues and consuming too much fuel. Why do you think CSX had derated his, his power to begin with? Well, here's a better question. Why does Radium buy him? That's not true. He still works hard like the rest of us do. Coming from the one who gets paranoid and forgot to blow his horn at a crossing, he should have been recalling and sent back to GE. Excuse me? How did you know about this? That ain't your business. And Nicholas, <sighs> where do I begin? He's so rude to everyone, including Ben and Eli, and you guys too. Why do you hang around if he has that negative attitude? I mean, don't you get sick of him being a nerd, especially about the military and other historical topics, huh? Because he- And his other dear friend, Lily, she sleeps more frequently than the rest of you do. Isn't that lazy? And always boasting of her Y2 scheme being a beauty when she's just a filthy pile of junk like any other Y2 units. And her so-called partner, Marie. Why does she try to supervise Ben 24-7 when she has a job and a child like mine? Isn't that inefficient? I'm sure Ben can take care of himself. What's your problem? None of us are perfect, but that doesn't mean you have to remind us of our mistakes. And besides, Marie doesn't supervise Ben all the time. You mean like what Nicholas does to you all the time? Uh... That's what I thought. Anyways, my name was never Caleb. It was always... Seth. I went under alias to Caleb to hide my true identity while making the rest of you look like imbeciles. So you're the one who was behind the havoc on the Jacksonville division, huh? I bet you're the one who confined Eddie and Mindy at Waycross for a period of time. You are by far the most treacherous engines I've ever met. I can't believe you would really manipulate other locomotives and even exploit them. Why thank you for your nice little compliments. I really appreciate it. <laughs> it's cute how you fools fell for my trap because I'm oblivious y'all seem. But now that you're all here, it's time you both shall contribute to this little project of mine. Boys, seize them! Whoa, 
Nope. This ain't gonna be good. Now sit in here and wait for as our crews pull your fuel cutoff switches. I'll take care of them. Boys, get your axles moving. We have two more engines to become the Scrapyard's new collection. done my friends i knew that i could trust you now let's drain out all their fuel so that they won't escape hey you wake up Ugh, my bad i've been tired all day yeah tired my now listen, 7661 and 173, after you're done draining their fuel, I want you to store our tankers by the nearby silo, and make sure you're both on guard so that nobody steals them. But can't we just dump them into bodies of water so that no thieves will ever find them? Are you nuts? You're gonna harm the environment by doing it the easy way. I give the orders and you listen. Understand? You both are awake. Welcome to the deadline. I will be with you in a moment. What are we doing here? Well, according to the paperwork, both here are to be scrapped in a few days. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yes, 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 yes. 
And your parts be recycled for an important construction project. What are you looking at? How did you even get here? Isn't it obvious? And I heard you were the one who judged Holmes, huh? Yeah. For him being an out of fuel hogger who thinks he can roast anyone without heeding the warnings. You have a problem with a young lady? Be quiet, all of you. 362-599-8763 be next if you keep up the chair chatter. Honestly, we should all remain quiet. Say that to yourself. I said be quiet! That way, Quas. Ben and Bridget are casually switching. Cognizant of what has happened to Sean and May. Are you sure these hoppers go on there? I'm sure they do. And haven't you heard? Sean and May have been missing since last night. Really? I heard they were on a train to Springfield Industrial and they just disappeared out of the blue. Oh no. And words say that Springfield isn't a safe place either. Yeah, we should quickly get this job over us and then go out and find Sean and May. In a haste to get their walk done. Ben and Bridget come to Quaz, much to Nicholas's dismay as he arrives with a manifest. Stupid jeeps, you make us look bad. Oh, hello, Nicholas and Marie. Do you blockheads realize that you could have caused an accident? Sorry, there's an emergency that we have to explain. Well, still, you shouldn't be too much in a rush. It could lead to disastrous outcomes. Didn't we go over this many times? But there's something that we have to- No time to explain. Now let's all head into the shed. And I heard you still tend to play tricks on other engines? Ha! <sighs> Not a big surprise. Anyways, I heard that Sean and May are somehow missing from a roster since last night. We need to go out and find them. What? Are you serious? It was reported that they were on a manifest to Springfield Dutchville the other night, and they just disappeared out of the sight. Oh no. Plus, why would Springfield Industrial still be used in the first place? I thought that area was already defunct. And besides, there are rumors of it being haunted. Eli, you do not have a shred of evidence. Ah, there you are, Don. You got anything to share with us? Last night, I witnessed Sean and May being confined at the scrapyard, somewhere outside of Springfield Industrial. There's a line of engines imprisoned, and this Dash 2 with the number 8116 was acting like he's the scrapyard's manager. It's like he's working on a project or something. Thanks for sharing out. However, you're still a knucklehead for having yourself be manipulated by that engine. I've always had fishy feelings about him, yet you failed to heed it. And if anyone has a clear understanding of 8116, you can go ahead and explain. Well, to spill the beans, that engine's name is Seth, and he wants to drive CSX out of business and get our lines turned to roads. Oh, please don't remind me of that name, and why did he even use your name again aside from hiding its true identity? He used my name to make the rest of us look like flops. Why? Unless he was trying to intimidate me, I have no idea. That fool always pulled off scams ever since CSX has first formed. I recall the time when I was trailing on the Q458 when May's absent-mindedness took control and resulted her in making an unauthorized stop at the entrance of this yard. He tried doing that with me once, let alone the fact he always claimed to have certain paperwork. Eventually he got into something known as locomotive trafficking. That's right, Caleb. Last year, Eddie and I were extorted by him. I wanted to warn others of his true intentions, but he would scrap me if I was caught doing so. He even had plans of forcing me and Eddie to his criminal activities after he was done spying on others. Thankfully, the arm master assigned us elsewhere and after he realized what has been going on. Unfortunately, some engines got manipulated by him and took counseling and even serious talks to finally get them to snap out of it. Something has to be done with Seth. He's making our railroad look bad, yet he frames Ryan and Donovan for the mess while he's the one who gets away with it. What she said. I may have been kidnapped, but I had a feeling there was something far more sinister to it. The reason why they were seemingly causing trouble is because they were stuck here and wanted to find ways to have the yard master kick them out. But anyways, he was willing to help save those helpless engines from scrap. I am. So am I. I'm really in the tag along as well. No, no, and no. Don't trust these three. I have bad feelings they will screw up everything. If anything, Holmes, Lily, and I should be the ones to contribute. Hey. We should still give them a chance. They're willing to risk their lives to save other engines. There was a time when I trailed on the Q458 with Ben taking the lead position, and he surprisingly performed well. Well, that's only because Rachel kept an eye on him, but I still have my doubts with him. 
well, Eli may have screwed up the other night, but I'll still be keeping my eye on him. I heard that, and it's still your fault why Eli got wrecked. Again, I didn't have time. I had a train to- I don't want to hear any excuses, and Marie can still keep Ben in order better than you can with Eli. Quit fighting, all of you. We aren't going anywhere if we keep up this altercation. I'd say all of us should contribute to this. <sighs> yeah, you're right. And we can keep our eyes on them as well, I guess. With everything unbaffled, the heroes departed Waycross inclined to save their friends from scrap. Thank <laughs> you.